I totally forgot to record you all. I apologize. This is how you build a playpen for your pups. This is how I build a playpen for my pups. The first thing that I did was sweep and clean the floor, bleach it down. Now, the second thing I did, I found this artificial grass at Home Depot in clearance. Normally it was $87. I got it for $65. So the roll, um, I unrolled it. And this is the width and length that I received. As far as my older dogs, they are created right now. It is about three o'clock in the morning. They cannot go outside to the kennels. So therefore they're inside for now. I am going to be getting some heavy duty crates in this month and next month. So pray for me so I can build my kennel as it grows. As we have Bo, we have Leo the Maltese, Bo the Cavapool, and then we have Sir Langston, which he done tore up his chair over there. Everybody has food and heat. So now I'm building the pen to transition the puppies into the garage. And I'm gonna bring the heaters in here as well. It's pretty warm right now. It is winter, summertime is gonna come. Then we'll bring in some cooling fans and air conditioners. All right, so step one was the artificial grass. I found these at Ross and these were $40. These are double-sided lightweight foam. They are two-sided with the design. PVC free, what's that? Flylake free, hypoallergenic, it wipes clean and it's water resistant. So the puppies can play on it if babies can. All right, so let's do step number two. And I had to place some chairs and things around because it was rolled and it kept rolling back up. So to flatten it out, that's why I went ahead and placed those around it. And I'm going to do the second one as well. Okay. Now I went ahead and completed the mats. Put down the mats on both sides. And now I'm going to put up the gates. Okay, so my next step is the black e-coat exercise pins, model 552-30. I purchased these on Amazon and I purchased two of them because I knew that I wanted it big enough and I can link them together. I believe these were like 40 to $45 each. So, that's what these are. Black exercise pins for animals. So I put one side up and I'm gonna put the other side up. Okay, so I put up the fence now. It's looking good. Bring some more light in here. I have to fold, it keeps rolling on this side. So I'm gonna put it under the gate and hold it down until the roll can level out flat. So that's what that's looking like. And I didn't take y'all on this side so y'all would know where these are the, where I keep the supplies. I keep their backup baby food, um, all of their vitamins their probiotics, their training pads, their diarrhea medicine, of course, um, their shampoo. I groom them at times when I don't send them to the groomers. So I have the flea and tick groomers pack. You have your clippers, you have your treats. These are the water bottles that I'm going to be placing inside, um, either with water or milk for the babies. You can get these at Ross as well for $3.99 gloves you definitely want to have your food backup supplies leashes q-tips dryers rags i use those rags because it's cheaper 
to mop up the floor after the dogs. So these are the rest of the supplies we're gonna build this pen with. But for the outside kennels, I found these rubber mats at five and below, which is way cheaper than spending $80 for mats outside and not knowing if the dog's gonna tear them up or not. But this way I'm gonna drill some holes in this so it can have a drainage. So when they urinate, they have a way to escape instead of sitting on the dogs. So I'm gonna do the kennels outside later. All right, so. As you can see, Langston inside using the restroom. I had to go in there and clean it up and clean out that pan. So yes, let's go work on the next step to this play pen for the dogs. Okay, so the next step is after the assembly of the fence, I started adding the toys. Go ahead. I'm not, I don't have you in the video. I have some beds, I have some sensory, Toys, we got areas going to be for their food and water and drinks. We have to take a potty. Right now, this is the mother's cot that has to clean and bleach and wash down the area where they're going to be sleeping and the mother's going to be tilted. So, when they're not playing, they'll be in this side with the mom bonding until they get of age. And I'm about to build the play set. So what I have is some PVC pipes and we have the corners. So you're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight corner pieces and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 holes. We use the PVC pipe cutter to, pipe to cut them at home. And you're also going to need some screw eyes. Okay, so I'll show you next up. Drill some holes in the areas where you're going to hang the toys from. Next step is I purchased a lot of toys, dog toys, infant toys from Ross. Zip ties, I had to go get some longer ones because I thought we had some. Until I can find the um, teething chains, I'm gonna go to the store and see if I can find some today. And then you just place it on the screws and hang them. Next step. Right, so this is now the finished product. After hanging all of the toys, now it's a different sound. So this is the final result of my play pen. I'm putting some heating lamps and heaters in here. I'm gonna station them in a minute. I have to go to the store, so. I just want to show you all how the Jungle Gym, they have a seesaw. This is the seesaw where the babies can rock up and down and walk. Their meal and drink areas their potty area in the back. This is where the mother's gonna be. I have to go to the store to get some more pads for the floor, where this will be another heating box, welcoming box area. So if they wanna sit there, the babies, the mothers can sit there and sleep at night, the babies can sleep at night. And yeah, so I'm working on it, y'all. Headed to the store to buy some more things. Potty area gonna be here in the back so I can easily hold it down. Don't have to travel as far to clean the pen every day. And that's what we're doing. 
our baby playpen and finish straightening up. Yep. Have our grooming area, storage area for the dogs, play area, sleep area. Bringing the babies in now. See how they like their new playpen. Move heaven. Mm -hmm. New environment for them. Let's see if they like she like the board. Mama's trying to figure out, okay. Sending the maid her home. Got Thor trying to walk outside of his mama. Put him closer to the pen and you see what they how they react with the pen. Watch out, you almost stepped on the fat puppy. They are really walking now. <laughs> Perfect time. That's everybody? Yeah. All right. That's right. Okay, I still gotta close this gate because they're walking out. Go ahead, sing a bell. Take, come on, go to your babies. It's not time to take a break. Stand a minute. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Sarah need to go back in with her babies. All right, now stay safe, man. <laughs> they are really walking now. They're hungry, so they're crying. They want their mamas. Cinnamon, tend to your children. You still have to feed them. You still have to feed your kids. Yeah, they know about a smell. And it really got doggy toys. Look at this. Come on. It looks like a bone dog, right? That dog like a bone. That's really good. That one got really good too. 